Okay, we are live. Hello, it's Matt from Excel Pro Tech, and I'm coming live to you from Huddersfield in the UK. And this is part two of a repair that is. Uh, it should be on the. Should be on in my videos. This is a Samsung Tab Three and SMT Two Ten, where basically we've had to solder in the battery connectors, the battery wires to the motherboard because of um, because of something that another shop's done to it. Um, this is the, the, as I say, this is part two. What we're going to be doing today is just making sure that those, because we've got bare metal here, bare wires. Uh, so what we are going to do, we are going to put some conformal coating on. I've got some MG Chemical Silicon Modified Conformal Coating. And basically this just goes on with a little brush, as you can see there. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to put that, uh, let's just turn that fan off. We are going to have another fan going in a couple of seconds though, but because um, this this stuff can really does smell <laughs> when you open it up. So basically, um, I do have a conformal coating pen here. This is better. The pen is a little bit better for uh, small scale work. Say we were changing a capacitor like that one on there, just to, just to go over it. Um, this stuff because it's thicker wires. I'm going to be using the the brush because it can get uh, sort of all around the wire basically. So that's the way we're going to do it. Um, if you are using conformal coating, uh, please put on some some shades. Uh, some eye protection just in case and uh, you can use a respirator as well if you want um, what I'm going to do is, is set my fan going just there so that we're uh, we're sort of getting those these fumes away so let's just open this up uh, this has just come in this morning in fact from my supplier And what you can do with this conformal coating, uh, there are a few videos on on people doing uh, waterproofing with it. So uh, what they sort of recommend is doing it, uh, giving it a couple of coats. I'll, I'll just do the one coat for you here. Uh, now, <sighs> okay, this is going to be interesting. Can Matt get the uh, get the conformal coating open? bottle open without spilling it everywhere <laughs> oh no I'm dying on live stream <laughs> beaten by a conformal coating bottle ah here we go Whew. now that would have been embarrassing not being able to uh, get it open at all right okay so yeah we've uh, we've loaded our brush up um you know you don't want it too too thick really but uh, just start dabbing it round and this is just gonna basically coat the wires uh, make sure basically that there's no there's no sort of touching between the wires So sorry, let's uh, let's zoom you in there. So you can actually see what I'm doing. So you can see there, it's getting sort of uh, a bit wet, a bit shiny, as I'm putting the conformal coating on. The conformal coating that you can use, if you're not using this one here, uh, you can use something else. I'll just turn off the webcam for now save you seeing my bald spot so yeah with the brush basically I'm able to get in uh, you know in between the cables uh, with the with the pen it'd be a bit more difficult because of the size of these cables here and uh, as I say this is basically just to give it it's not it's not for waterproofing like you see some of the other people using it for on uh, on YouTube uh, this is this is basically to stop the electricity running between the wires um, it's non electrically conducting so you know we're, we're okay on that front 
So yeah, as you can see, it's that sort of coated all the wires quite nicely. It will also give us a bit of a stronger bond as well, just uh, just in case a solder isn't enough. But uh, you know, the the solder should be enough. Should be more than enough from what I've put on there. And that is basically the uh, the conformal coating on. I'll uh, I'll see how it goes. I think this takes about roughly two hours to cure. Um, it's quite hot here in the UK at the minute. We're up to about maybe 20, 20 to 30 degrees. So uh, you know it might might dry a bit faster. God, it does smell though. Um, so we'll we'll see. Basically, I might I might go back and put some more on it, but just to be safe, as I say, this conformal coating is just to stop any electrical interference. If uh, and uh, basically just just make sure that we're not going to have a problem where the battery is uh, where the positive and negative wires, for instance, are touching or anything like that. If it gets dropped and the wires come loose, they're all going to be sort of coated in this conformal coating and that that was going to save us um, any future jobs hopefully so as I say I might put another layer on but um, I won't bore you with that okay so that is it for now as I say just a quick one just to, just to show you this and uh, basically review the uh, the conformal coating from MG chemicals if you do need any of this and you're in the UK uh, just give us a shout give us an email we can get hold of it for you um, as well as the pens as well conformal coating pens we do this silicon one which uh, and we also do the colored ones as well I think we can get hold of the blue and the green one uh, if you've ever watched Lewis Rosman uh, sometimes you will see him using a green conformal coating pen on some of his jobs he doesn't seem to use it as often now, but uh, on his earlier work, he did use a conformal coating pen. So if you if you did if you do surface mount repair work and you do need some of those, uh, just give us a shout. We can we can get those in for you. Okay, so that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Matt from Excel Pro Tech. If you want to support the channel, there's a link in the description below, and you can you can pledge some money for us, or you can. If you shop on Amazon or eBay, you can also use the links in the description as well, and that will get us a referral fee. So, thank you so much for watching, and that is it for now. Thank you.